Hi guys, welcome to another plan with me. This is Jazz from Jazz Plans, and I am going to be using the kit Little Things from Scribble Prints Co. I am filming from the week of the 4th through the 10th of September, and right here I'm showing you guys what is in the kit. I absolutely love this kit, and I love how it brings, it's like a transitional kit from the fall, but it still has some fall colors in it, but then it still has the light pink. So yeah, so I'm starting off with my normal bottom washi, and I put the wrong uh, bottom washi side down. I was like, oh, this is going to be a hot mess playing with me already. But I think I pulled it together at the end. I really love this spread. I did pick an ultimate kit up. And it was so many stickers. And I feel as though I made a fuller spread because I had so many stickers. Even though I'm usually a white place, white space planner. So, yeah. Um, I'm covering up the flags now. I mean, I didn't mind the spread. I really loved the way it turned out. And I just tried to incorporate as much deco as possible even though I had the... The date strips. This is the first time using date strips from Scribble Prints Co. And it was amazing. It was easy. Just stuck it down. So here I am. I'm going to start with. Yeah, this is the date strip that I'm putting down right here. And I do not like to cover up any part of the 17. of In the 2017. Um. I just don't like the way that it looks and it will kind of bother me if the um if it was half covered so I intentionally bring down the date cover if I have if I'm using them so that I don't cover it even if it um because I just put the glitter header there anyway so here I'm showing you guys what three colors that I chose to pick and if it's um if the glitter headers are like two of the same colors, I I'm not I don't use two of the same colors. I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. And here on my arm, I'm putting down how I want to see the colors. So I start off with the the light pink, the rose color pink at the top, and I put down a glitter header for each on each day so yeah here I'm just putting down the glitter header I filmed this video into two parts I filmed part one Sunday well not Sunday Monday because it was Labor Day and I did Monday to Wednesday or the bottom I did the bottom headers I mean the bottom washi headers and sidebar and then Monday to Wednesday uh, on Monday, and then I came back on. Uh, what's that film? Wednesday, and did Thursday through Sunday. I mean, I liked it, but it's kind of hard for me to edit during the week because I I have school, I have work, I don't have enough time, I have homework, and editing is always. During the week, it is put back to the back burner of homework. Homework comes first. Getting my master's degree in social work comes first. So, and then I like to have my planner because it helps me. It helps me stay on track. It helps me stay what I need to do. So, guys, right here, I am choosing the four boxes that I'm going to use. I tried to not cover up the four boxes that I like the most. So, I picked four boxes that um, were more simple on days that I knew were busy. Like this book bag, I did not cover up at all and I did not want to. It was it was a pretty, I like the book bag. Um, I also used the, the scene next to each other on Saturday and Sunday as um, it was probably attended to be used that way. I put the dog down on Thursday. I really like the dog and the dark blue. Then I went in. I'm putting the stickers on the back of my forearm because they are glossy. And if I need to pull any sticker up or to readjust, 
anything like that. It will only be able to do to do it if it is less sticky and I have it um and making it and I'm making it less less sticky by putting it on the back of my arm. You guys can always use undo, but if you don't want to have to put out the undo all the time, then putting it on your arm makes it less sticky in case you need to you need to readjust the stickers at any time. Uh, Scribble Fits Co. stickers are glossy, and I think that's the only shop that I, I order glossy stickers from because that is what that is what's offered. Only um, option that is offered. So I use the dark blue in the middle. Um, I really like the contrast between the light pink and the darker pink with the darker blue in the middle, and the way that I looked it over the full boxes. So I put the glitter headers. Like I just slip it on top <clears throat> with this and conjure that I'm using it um the neutral it has the dotted lines and there's no headers like the old one had headers this one doesn't so I found that if I put the full boxes down first then it is easier for me to put the glitter headers in the space um, at the top between the first box and the second box and it won't be that much of the dotted line showing. I don't mind the dotted line showing if it is naturally showing. I do mind if it's showing a lot. So then I put down the headers, the bottom headers. Um, and I use the darker pink um, for that one. So yeah, what I, I was talking about um, the fact that I filmed this video into two parts, and I really enjoyed it. But I think it, I think I'm gonna go back to tomorrow when I film. I'm recording this voice over on Saturday. I'm go back to filming the whole video and just showing you guys on Instagram or Twitter the fuller um, the end look. You guys can follow me anytime at on Instagram at. Um, Jazz underscore plans or on Twitter at Jazz Plans and that's where I show my spreads, my completed spreads. I just feel like I wanted to use more stickers and just trying out this method. Um, for the theme sticker, I put enjoy the little things, the quote, and then this is where I pulled in the other blue, the little, the lighter blue. And the sidebar, I really like doing that instead of using the washi. I didn't use much wa much washi sh uh, strips in this kit. I pulled in the light blue glitter headers. And then I put down my two habit trackers for my Instagram post. Or like, I use Instagram social media. I mostly use Instagram. But I just um, started a Twitter account as well. And then the second one is for my full skincare routine. So yeah, that's what the darker blue one is for. And then I am just straightening it up. It was a little a little crooked. My nose are getting so long, like it's difficult for me to pull up stickers and I have to use my fingertips and not my nails most of the time. So then I put down another glitter header. Oh, I think I take I'm eventually going to take it up because I don't have space for the the second box that I wanted to use. So I use the top month, the weekly one for Monday, for Monday through Sunday to track my dinners. And then I'm going to use another full box to track my Happy Meal at the bottom of the page. And then... Yeah, I'm just switching out um, the spacing of the sidebar. I've seen someone start off the sidebar at the bottom to help a lot with spacing. And I think I may do that because spacing on the sidebar always gets me. Because I don't like to move the theme box up to where you can't see the flag. The ends of the flag. Like, it makes it a flag at the top because you can see the end. And because... The other flag is covered. I cannot. I don't like that. But it always covers it up with um, 
when I use date covers. So I like that to be down some more. So yeah, I just use, um, I just have to work on the spacing. So yeah, I put here, I was trying to put a header but I ended up putting a Happy Mail sticker on there so that I knew that these things were Happy Mail. So I put the Happy Mail, um, I put down the Ombre Heart Checklist at the bottom. I don't really use checklists anymore. I think that's a, a good way to keep my spreads white space is not to use the full box checklist. checklist. So... I used the flag check checklist <laughs> that were tripping me up today. But then I put down a full a half a box half box and I um I layer a it's a clear Labor Day sticker. I got that from one of the Manly uh book. So I put that down it's like go I like that. I didn't have any other stickers that said Labor Day. So I like to use that. Then I put down um, that I had published a video, so I put that I made my video live on this day, and you guys can check it out. Um, I'll leave a card at the top. I use these gem bag um stickers. I really like the gem bag stickers, but I felt as though they were standing out too much. So I switched them for some other stickers that um, you guys will not see at the end of the video because I only worked out Monday and Tuesday. But I do, um, in the picture, you can see that I changed them. And yeah, I felt like I changed a lot of things. And I don't like that because once I film it, like, I want you guys to see what, what, how I film or whatever, how I plan. But I did end up changing it. I put down the the camera icon next to the habit tracker for Instagram and then the face mask one next down to the skincare. Then I labeled a uh, I layered a flag over top of the full box and I was trying to put film. I was trying to put the script where it record, but it wasn't fitting. So I put down the slate um symbol from the kit right there and then I wrote film on the box and then I put down the paper and the pen to mark I mean it's just it's really I use it as deco but it was homework was one of the things that I had to get done and then on Tuesday I put down this appointment label the appointment labels are what I'm using for my work and I put the um I put the the script words work from Heather and Plans. So the top the half box is for I had four new students starting in my class. So I put that there for new students and then I put a checklist of things I had to get done like edit, homework, I had to make a few phone calls. So I put that there. And then I put the desk right there as a little bit of deco and a little bit of an icon as well. I'm so sad she's gonna get she's gonna be removing that those that section from the kit. I really like the that, but she's putting down putting her dinos there. And I mean I'm not really into the dinosaurs, so it's okay. So I put down the TV icon for being Mary Jane. That's only the show the only show I'm keeping up with right now. So I put that down there and then I, on Wednesday I put down another um like glitter label appointment label and I'm going yeah it was, it was a little crooked so I'm straightening it out. And I put down this quarter box because I had a post and a homework assignment. And I had already did the homework on Monday, so I started off with a good start on my homework and then kind of fell off from my homework. But and then I again I'm trying to put to record with the 
um, flag and the words is just too big. I don't like for it. I didn't want it to cover the end part of the flag. So yeah, I think I put it, yeah, I put it sideways and I, um, I like that, but I think I had to add something else at the end of the day. So I ended up moving that and are you guys no, these are all pre-planned. So I do have things that I do every week, but a lot of these, most of these things are pre-planned and they are subject to change. That's why ghetto you know, undo is very important in the planning world. When I put that um, that label um, on the top of Wednesday for laundry at work, I do. We do have a laundry day at work. And I have a laundry day at my own house, so that's why you'll see laundry more than once this week. Oh yeah, I moved, yeah, I put the phone calls, the phone on Wednesday, but then I, I did it on Tuesday. So when I came back to film, I just moved that and I put the alarm clock to remember. Because I couldn't find the washing machine. I knew the kid had a washing machine, but it was on the freebie and I was looking in the kit. So, once I did find it, I switched that out. Um, uh, I think I was just straighten out the box here. Oh, I was trying to add this coffee, like, coffee cup to it, and I wanted to add it at the bottom. So, here is the next day, and I'm going over the changes that I talked to you guys about, and I put down some deco, which I thought was really, really, really cute, and on the dinners, I, it's a, it's a sticker that got stuck right there. So I do notice that that is not there on purpose. Um, I do move that in the end. I'm so upset that I filmed this whole section with it right there. But yeah, I did the dishes and the dishwasher and stuff like that on Wednesday. So I changed that up a little bit. So here I'm going to go start day by day from Thursday until Sunday. So Thursday I had work and I had some very exciting news. I had... Um, interview with the company that I'm very interested in and prayers about that I'm haven't heard back anything yet but I'm looking forward to hearing back from them so I put down a half box there with a meeting it's like a table from the coffee monster co so I put that there and then I put down workout Spoiler alert, I did not work out that day. I do end up removing that um, that sticker. So here I'm just looking for stickers. Um, I don't like for the stickers to be on camera. I do like for them to be off camera, but sometimes it looks weird when I am like shoveling beside me so let me know what do you guys prefer um this label box is for my homework um but i ended up moving it to friday because my homework wasn't due until friday i just had that is really really crooked i don't even know why i put that down so crooked i am about to change it though because that appointment label is super crooked i put down um my homework, the homework that I, for Friday, I put it down on Thursday. So then I put down Scribble Fence Co. new releases. I was really excited about the new releases, but I didn't end up buying anything. I just thought it would be best for me to wait and not spend any money on stickers right now. Even though I'm not on the no um, sticker, like I'm not on the no spin. I do think I'm going to focus more on like icons and functional stickers because I do have a lot of kids 
and it's a little overwhelming thinking about how am I going to use these kits because there's just not enough weeks in the month. It's just not enough. So then my sister is re relocating from North Carolina and she is moving back home. So I'm super excited about that. So I put down a flag with the home sticker to write that my sister is coming back home. So yeah, I put down the checklist on um, Friday. So then I put another workout sticker. I do, I do schedule for a workout four days a week, four to five days a week, and sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. So it varies like that. I do wish I was a little bit more consistent with my working out. Um, this is the weekend. I put on the weekend banner. The weekend banner was very. Very plain considering the kit. Like it was gray. It wasn't a lot of gray in this kit. Or white. But I, it, I think it pulled a lot of those elements into the kit. and made the kit a little bit lighter. I put a to clean, to clean list at the top of um, Saturday. I normally clean. But I do change that because I clean the same things every week. So I don't need a checklist. And I needed to put down three things that I need to do just generally throughout the day. So do change that to an important list. So here on the back, I mean on the back, I'm checking the other side to see how I did something. Um and I use a little vacuum from the freebie. And then I put down the shopping cart. Um, I am going to be cooking them on Sunday and I need to get some ingredients that I needed for the dish from the store. So I put that out on Saturday. Oh yes, I put down the upload sticker um, for Saturday. It is Saturday right now and I'm just putting this voice over so this video should be up by the end of the day on Saturday. So I'm super excited about that. Every time I put out a new video, it's just exciting to see how you guys react to the video and how many views I get and likes and new subscribers each and every day. So I am super excited about that and it makes everything worth it. And then I put down washing clothes because I just needed to wash a load of clothes. So I have a bill due on Sunday. It is my typical bill. I did already pay it, but I do like to mark it in my planner so that I know when it's due just in case I don't pay it off early. And then I put a plan next week on Sunday because I will be recording my next plan with me on Sunday. And this half box is used for Sunday dinner that I'll be cooking for my sister and my boyfriend. I'll put down the spoon and fork icon from the kit. Oh. Excuse me, I'm tired. I still need to put, um, Looking at my plan, I still need to wash clothes. I haven't put in a lot of clothes yet. So here I wanted to put the cooking munchkin. I love this. And then I put down the homework, the one with the, the laptop. Then I go back and I put the script labels. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this plan with me. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at jazz underscore plans or on Twitter at jazz plans. Um, yeah, I'm just filling on my sidebar. I was meant to show you guys the thing that I'm using, but I'll show you guys that at the end. I mean, then um, my next plan with me here I uh, am. Looking for, uh, oh yeah, 
um, I had to mark down yoga. Me and my boyfriend started doing yoga. We're trying to do it daily, but it may not be daily, maybe like every other day. And it's really exciting to do um, yoga with my boyfriend. It's just like a, a bonding experience and things like that. So I put those down to mark yoga. So here, I'm sure you guys was in the kit. I did use a lot of hat boxes. Um, I used all the flags, most of the deco, not much of that sheet at all. On the top of that sheet in the bottom, I said I didn't use the globe. I didn't really like the globe, the globe in this kit. I already threw away the full boxes kit. I already used, I used all the full boxes. Here, I'm showing you guys that I want to use. Make sure I use the deco in the kit, which you guys can see here. I used most of the deco. Bye, have a great day.